Okay, what's up, uh, people? Yo, so, real talk, like, I wanted to talk about a little bit of my my interpretation and my, the way that I, um, turn my air down, out here doing runs, the way I do my, my writing, right? So, like, some of my writing, if you've ever heard of it, or if you've ever uh, read it, it's a little, it can be a little strange, or it could be a little, like, what is he really trying to get at or is, what is he really trying to, you know, uh, convey with some of this stuff, right? Sorry, my camera's a little shaky. Um, so basically a lot of my influence comes from the way I see, cause I'm, I would describe myself as being, you know, a creative individual on one side and then like a philosophical, you know, like intellectual type of dude, you know, just to put it in some some type of a category on one side, right? So, like, for me, it's an art side, and then it's the intellect side, right? So, okay, so when we're talking about life, you have, basically, you have things like Eastern philosophy that's really basic, right? Basic, take away all the freaking, take away all the labels, anything you want to, um, you know, Add to to make some highfalutin or whatever, and then you have um, esotericism, right? Religion. You have religion, and then on the deeper side, you have the esoteric thing. It's the then all then from that you can say pagan or something like that, right? So, sheesh. so um, the thing is about. The funny thing about all of these things, you know, minus the Eastern philosophy, which is basically just, you know, the most basic way of living, like living without any type of labels, any forms, calling anything, um, any type of um, structure, not structure, but any type of, you know, just definition or us labeling a thing a thing, just letting everything just be and realizing how everything is kind of interconnected and really just getting back to the bare minimum of like babies and how we thought when we were babies or whatever um so and then, okay so like mine is that right so what i want to speak on is basically um the way i would say it is with somebody's like right next to me so the way i would say it is like um when you get off into like the esoteric type of things and religion, religion can be really esoteric. And in a way, um, in a way, the, uh, it can get, it can go off into be really like types of artsy and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it depends on kind of how deep you go into it and how deep it is of what you're reading so we can have like the really deep stuff like the real deep intricate type forms of christianity and stuff like that but and this which is really just taking something super simple and then like quantifying it by adding philosophy to it or really kind of micro you know deep you know going in a micro going in a microscope really just um i'm saying a word where um going in a microscope and really just kind of like segmenting off one thing and just hella scrutinizing it cutting it piece by piece and the funny thing about that is you know what the eastern philosophy thing is every time you try to you know cut something every time you try to go into something deeper it's just going to fragment off more and more and more into an infinite amount of value to where you know there's never any end um which is true. So what's funny about that is that um, like religion is really more, it's really artistic, right? It's really artistic. It's really poetic, right? And poetry, as we know it now, is just a form of, um, you know, art or whatever. Whereas poetry back in religious days and text and stuff like that, that was the, the go-to, the, that was the way to write. There was no prose. There was no... I'm sitting down on a bench. There was, you know, um, just just like artistic ex- explanation. So 
that's what religion is. Religion is really art. And the funny thing about religion is that's that's how I see it. It's like it's art. And coming from where I come from or coming coming up with my my type of thinking or the, you know, just being me, just growing up and thinking how I think my 33 33 years of a, of existence um you can quantify that religion is is really art. It's a really kind of a highfalutin way to explain simple things, right? Now there is simplistic ways about going about being religious, right? Um, there is bare minimum uh, fundamentalists. Um, I've been in my past, you know, a fundamentalist, which is basically a more bare minimum type of uh, just uh, uh, what's the word I'm trying to go for? Um, practical, you know, way of applying it, right? Without high really high crazy freaking definitions and really high crazy reasonings and all of this stuff like a catholicism or something like that um with really image heavy really symbol symbolic heavy the trinity and mary and, and the heart of jesus you know really really get into your real artsy style of religion right which kind of like breaks it apart and separates it from the real point into becoming something that is kind of like ascetic where you know and 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 and, you know just really where you just lose your you can lose your mind um just following you know a really convoluted religion right but the thing about any type of religion any type of esotericism is just this it's just a really really poetic way to explain something simple right a really poetic way to explain normal normal freaking life right so and that's how i would see it and back in the day like way when people didn't weren't intelligent they didn't have they they weren't literate right that's how they used to explain and give hope to people right um by using um epic epic novels or epic um poems epic poems right so the form is not off not too far off from being that like a like a what was it towers of gilgamesh or the the story of gilgamesh um which preceded anything like a, a printed or written bible before it was you know written down or you know put it put into text right um before word of mouth or before um it was you know, a, a oral, oral past, orally passed on tradition, right? Like epic novels, uh, epic, epic poem preceded that. And that's really what the thinking was, right? Like anybody who was anybody more or less way back in the, in the, the days, way before anything now, looked at everything and, and tried to, to, to kind of like understand the meaning of this, And then, you know, eventually they gave meanings to it, right? You had the elders um, of the cultures who would give the meanings to kind of like as a a remembrance, right? It was a it was a artistic expressionistic way of explaining a normal thing, right? Like the the freaking rain, the clouds or the sun in the sky, right? And that poetic way that they explained it really just kind of helped you remember it because it was more. Uh, exciting than just saying, oh yeah, man, it rains because, you know, stuff is dry and, you know, it just does. And the rain evaporates and goes up and they, well, they didn't know stuff like that. So it's much more exciting, right? To, to, and much more uplifting to say or to t- kind of equate something to a character, or write it in a way that really get, pulls at the heartstrings or whatever. You know, something like, you know, in God or, you know, um, Yahweh or, you know, I'm speaking Yahweh because it's very specific about the way that I'm very specific um, to the way that I'm talking about, you know, the God that I'm talking about, the version of God that I'm talking about. Um, so that 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 and that worked. Right. So the thing about that is that, you know, it's just art. Right. It's just the artistic way to explain anything. And that's the same with things now right and when i write so 
how this equates back to how I write is I really like to kind of like, you know, I wouldn't say manipulate, but just try to use that understanding that I, that the way that I understand stuff and kind of use it in a way that, um, just, just gets across the same thing, right? Gets across you know, you have basic life and then you have an artistic way of explaining life. You have an artistic way of poetically or, or just kind of like convolutingly explaining something so simplistic and basic. You make it so intoxic intoxicating just by, you know, adding this flair to it, you know, adding this this craziness to it and adding this this and that. You make it mysterious. You make it, um, you know, interesting or whatever. And that's all. And in my eyes, that's all I think. That's all religion is. Like, it's a way of, you know, this house of belief or this organization of belief just having the more interesting and, and interesting story or whatever for you to live your life by. Or these interesting, crazy, you know, mysterious texts like you have the Dead Sea Scrolls or you have the books and it's the mysterious allure of a lot of religious um, lifestyles or livings that kind of just give you the seed, the breadcrumbs to you just, you just want to know more. You just got to find out the secrets or whatever. And it's because of that Western mindset of how we think, we think everything is a secret. We think everything is like something to be un uncovered. We want to find the Holy Grail. We want to find Jesus's real burial site. Know it's the real burial site. All of these things that are unnecessary to normal living but we get caught up in them right and just the same as religion right religious text we get caught up in the mysticism the the, the miracle the 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 mystery of it right and and you can see how the writers wrote in a way that they knew kind of what the effects of you know such writing was because they use a lot of these symbolisms right and especially the more um like the prophets prophecies like you know at the end of the bible the end of the world the, the, all it is is a bunch of symbolism that means absolutely nothing because it transfers over to you know it doesn't transfer over anything right you need to interpolate and kind of just really rack your brain and try to connect a uh, 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 six-headed you know multiple facing wheels turning one direction but the face is facing this you know you really got to stretch and then you still really don't know what it really means but that's that's the thing it's art right it's in and going back to me it's like what did they even mean to the person who was writing it right if he had this vision right which is completely understandable and if you try to relate a vision into text there's no way any type of language or words or words cannot contain, you know, what's in your mind. Word intellect cannot contain the whole mysteries of the universe. Science cannot understand through an intellectual standpoint things that, you know, uh, are surpass the intellect, right? Because there's no intellectual basis to, uh, you know, to build the blocks of these things. To, to build the fundamental, the fundament, the uh, the foundation, the fundamentals, the fundamentals of understanding them and inter interpolating them into intellect, right? So there's no way. Basically, all I'm saying is there's no way we can we can't intellectually um, understand everything, but in just a way, there's no way to put a vision into intellect. And so when you read it back, you don't even know the person who read it back to themselves. It could be different, like writing a dream. So, but it's when you read it, when it's a third party reads it, it seems so mysterious, so evocative, so, oh my gosh, so mysterious. Um, it's 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 too compelling, right? And you get caught up, you get obsessive about it. So, and one of the most obsessive things about, namely Christian faith, is the end of the freaking world because it's so mysterious and it's so you know, evocative that you get obsessed with what this thing is, like what is going to happen and when am I going to be able to see it? And when do I look out my window and see these things happening? Like now with the Corona, with the protests, it's like, you're trying to, 
attach it to the mystery so that you can feel like, oh, is this the key? Is this, the, is this that? But it's the thing that most religious minded people are missing is they're missing the point. Like to look at a religious text as anything but art is is just you your heart is far fetched for you to attach a lot of things to real life. And a lot of religions have done it right or done it in a way that's, you know, gives a basic understanding and makes it seem correct. But really, this stuff was written over, you know, thousands of years ago. How do you know what's correct? You don't know what's correct at all. So you don't know. It's just all interpretation. It's like interpreting a painting posthumously to a painter who's dead. You know, the painter's dead. Your interpretation is your interpretation, right? It doesn't mean that it's correct. So, but with a lot of, you know, a lot of organizations or whatever, they're confident in ignorance, right? So it's, you know, it is, they assert it's correct because that's what they're going with. And they assume that they're correct because that's what they're going with, you know? Or they think that, you know, a divine power, the divine power gave them the eyes to see this or whatever. But there is, there's as many interpretations as there are people on the earth or whatever. So it's like, there, there's, it's never going to stop. You know, there's, there's always going to be a new interpretation, but that's the thing about art is it's always, it's open to interpretation and art is, that's what makes art compelling because you can take something normal, simple and dumb or whatever and just make it something that's so compelling to the mindset of a Western minded individual where it's like, how do you understand this? How do they do this? How do they this? How do they that? You know, and it's and when you really get into that and you really understand that's at the roots of religion, esotericism, uh, paganism, all of these things. You break them down into the components, which I love to do. Um, you can really understand, really, that's what's that's what's going on. You know, the difference is between a lifestyle and a person who appreciates it is the person, the person who is taking it as their lifestyle has read and read that and took it as to be the literal truth of everything, the literal truth, you know? So, but it's like, I feel like that's the way you missed the point, you know? That's the way you've taken art and you've tried to make it from art, and ex which is an expression, into life. So what this, all of this says with my writing is, is I think that I, I come to a, you know, a small grasping. I'm not gonna say that I'm a expert or anything like that, but I come to a small grasping of really when you break down religion on all these things that are religious or esoteric, they're just, you know, funny, cool, mysterious ways of, you know, relating simple ideas. And so when if you ever read my stuff, some of the stuff is just it's kind of just like me taking, you know, the thoughts in my head and just kind of just putting putting them into words and whatever words that comes out. That's what comes out. Um, so, I mean, you know, it might be worth a check out if you've never read my stuff. Um, a Wolf, beautyxvibes.com. Um, I'm, you know, I'm just multi platformal. I have a couple of Instagrams. I really don't attach myself to one thing, but I really wanted to, uh, what I wanted to talk about is really discuss that, right? You know, discuss this, this thing that we have about these religions and all of these beliefs that we have that really just take simple things and just kind of abstract them into infinite, you know, uh, directions and really just go off forever. And that's really just why the Western minded individual are so caught up in them because we can't explain them and we never, it'll never be explained till it's done, you know? And that's the, that's the, that's the, the mm, that's where we're so, that's why they're so great. And that's why they're so utilized and that's why they're so manipulated by thoughtful individuals who know how to manipulate. I'm not saying, you know, every religious person is a manipulator, uh, but people who do manipulate, do manipulate, you know, do manipulate. And they know the power that these these forms of art have. So but it's like me, I look at them as forms of art and that's what that that's the real influence of you know, my writing, because I am trying to do, I'm basically emulating that. And it's really just for fun, you know, 
it's really just it's fun but it also i'm talking about real life stuff you know real life stuff that helps you know i like to talk about expanding your mind and real intellect a real you know real spirituality or really getting into something right really learning something that's really fun that's really practical i keep it practical so um video went on a little longer than i wanted to but yeah i'll get into these concepts and stuff more in um more in depth like one by one or whatever later but really just want to kind of cover what i do and why i do it peace thanks for watching